A year ago, we introduced you to a Hazelwood man, blinded in an industrial accident. His world consisted of shades of light and dark. But Washington University doctors transplanted a salivary gland from under his jaw to his temple to restore, mo restore moisture to his eyes. That enabled him to undergo a unique surgery that could restore his sight. Tonight, in, the, in depth in the Fox Files, one man's inspirational battle to see again. What lies beneath these sunglasses may be disturbing for you to look at, but imagine living this way. I spent a long, long time, 12 years, you know, it's been a long time being blind. I'm shining some light into Brett's right eye, and as you could see, that it's very wide and scarred up. Flaps of skin cover Brad Barnes' corneas. They were destroyed in an industrial accident. But the 43-year-old hopes a couple of hours of special surgery will change that. You can see the light right now, right? Yes. Good. It's been that way since that September night in 1994, 15 minutes before his 32nd birthday. Brad was working with molten aluminum. The uh, tank exploded in my face. It was uh, 1,100 pounds of 1,550 degree molten aluminum. It hit my eyes and I was instantly blinded. It burned my corneas and my tear glands right out of my eyes. So Brad is what we call uh, a patient with a condition called the irreversible corneal blindness for whom all traditional technologies have failed and no longer work. But eye surgeon Dr. Ming Wang is using new technology developed at his Vision Institute in Nashville. First, he'll use a special laser to create a pocket in the eye. In a second procedure, he'll insert an artificial cornea. Brad's wife, Jackie, is the one who heard about Dr. Wang's work. She puts it in God's hands. We won't know unless we try, and if it's his will that he doesn't see, then he'll continue doing what he's doing. What he's doing is working with kids and motivating people. My brother Brad's having surgery tomorrow at 8, 830 in the morning to get a cornea transplant. He's part of the God Squad, a group that uses strongman feats to share its faith with others. <laughs> he also speaks to students on behalf of the martial arts studio where he works out. It's just a calling on my heart from God that I need to just go and, and give back to the community and give back to society. The laser surgery is going well. Perfect. We are in good shape. How are you feeling? I'm doing okay. That's we accomplished right. this step beautifully. And the laser pocket is beautiful. Dr. Wang is excited about how things are going. But there is more work to be done and more waiting for Brad's wife, Jackie. Yeah, I am really nervous. So I'm just waiting and I just want to hear it was successful. That's what I'm waiting for. But she knows there are no guarantees. And that's okay, too. But it would be so cool if it worked. He deserves it. If it does work, how much sight would Brad regain? It's not 2020. It's to restore vision from nearly complete darkness to some degree of vision one can take care of yourself at home. You know, just that little bit of sight for, for someone who can't see. You just, you can't imagine unless you've been there how, how much that little bit can do for you. I'm going to put a little artificial cornea. Dr. Wing calls it burying the treasure. It's implanted and covered up. And three months later, we make a little opening, and I call it uncovering of the treasure, so he will be able to see again. Finally, Jackie got the news she had been waiting for. The surgery was more complicated than Dr. Wang anticipated. He actually located Brad's pupil that had been displaced by the blast and recentered it. So I basically rebuilt the front part of his eye, rebuilt the whole thing. And then I was able to put my little artificial corner in there and switch it all together. That is so cool. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. It's been a long process, you know, I know. for you. I know. So we got a good start. A start that could give him a glimpse of the one thing he has never seen, but wants to behold the most. I want to see my wife's face. I want to hear her laugh the way I hear her now, and I want to see her smile. That's because Brad has never seen Jackie's face. They were married just two and a half years ago. Brad had the procedure on just his left eye. Dr. Wang tells me the combination of the salivary gland transplant done by Dr. Randall Paniello at Washington University and his laser artificial cornea surgery is a world's first. In three months, Brad will return to Nashville to have the bandages removed and hopefully see a world 
he hasn't seen in 12 years. It's a story of loss, hope, and medical miracles. A St. Louis man came to Nashville in hopes that a local eye surgeon might help him see. A workplace accident nearly 13 years ago left Brad Barnes blind. After several surgeries, he finds out if he will get to see his wife for the very first time. Fox 17 was there as his bandages were removed in a story you're seeing only on Fox. Dear Heavenly Father, uh... With a Bible in hand, Brad Barnes has left a lot of what is about to happen today to a higher power. You ready? I'm ready. Thirteen years ago, Brad lost his sight in a foundry explosion. Molten aluminum burned his body and his eyes for what Brad thought would be forever. After 15 major surgeries at several med major medical centers, uh, he was declared to be irreversibly blind. Barnes was referred to Dr. Ming Wang's Foundation for Sight Restoration. He was the first person in the world to receive a procedure developed by Dr. Wang, a combination saliva gland transplant and laser artificial cornea implantation. I think this is a dawn of a new era of transplantation medicine, man-made body parts. You reduce the risk of organ transplantation rejection, which is the number one problem in organ transplantation. Yesterday was the final surgery in a two-year journey. Today, Brad's bandages are removed. It's unclear because of blood and swelling how much Brad might see. Dr. Wang cleans out his eye and slowly opens the lid. Supporters wait with nervous anticipation. I say thumb up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yes. I see it. You and can I, see my thumb? Yes. And hang on. Don't move. Okay, don't move. Is this is this your face? Yes. Yeah, I see your face over there. The most important thing Brad can now see is his wife Jackie. Yeah, I can see you now. Yeah. And for the first time in nearly thirteen years, Brad sees himself in a mirror. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah. With each passing minute, Brad's eyesight gets a little better. I'm just overwhelmed. It's very surreal and I'm just really happy. Brad is fascinated by things we take for granted, like a crumpled piece of tissue. But it's clear this is a life-changing day. This is incredible. This is incredible. Man, I can't even believe this. A moment to witness a patient going from a life of darkness to sight personally priceless for Dr. Wang and everyone involved. That moment is worth all the hard work and research and um, uh, sleepless nights for decades. Well, Brad Barnes will never have perfect eyesight. His vision will get about 50% better than today. A colored contact will help him with his depth perception and will help make his eye appear normal.